Hey everybody, um, I promised that I would put up a little video of my experience doing the Brooklyn Half Marathon and so here it is. I have clips from the day before and then the morning of and then the actual race so you can really see like what it's like to do a half marathon. Um, it was really tough and I am hurting, like I'm really sore right now but it was totally worth it and I cannot wait to do my next half marathon um, and then eventually a full marathon. But yeah, this was, a, this was a good one and I couldn't have done it without everyone's support. So thank you all so much and here you go. Enjoy the clips. Hey, we're on our way. Two hours of driving and then we'll be at the hotel. Just drive. Just smile. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, we have checked into our hotel. We have gotten dressed for dinner. All fancy. <laughs> Um, hey guys, we're just here on the vlog, and this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go eat dinner now. <laughs> p.m. I'm about to go to bed. I just took my melatonin. Um, Frank and I had a great dinner in the city and we've just been kind of chilling out today. So yeah, I'm getting up early tomorrow and we'll see you then. All right, it's 6 a.m. I just woke up. Um, I actually woke up at 3.30. And then didn't fall back asleep until 5. So, a bit of a rough night, but time to get ready. Alright, it is just about 7 o'clock. I stretched, I had my coffee, I had a banana, I had some of a blueberry muffin, and I'm dressed, I'm ready to go. I packed everything last night, so I don't need to worry about that. Just waiting on... Frank real quick and then we're gonna head downstairs, hop in an Uber, go over to Prospect Park, get my bib, check in, and then it'll be race time soon enough. Hey you. What time is it? I don't know. It's, it's too like early. It's like 7.45. Way too early. Okay. Um, got my bib. People are showing up. Just getting ready to start soon. Getting ready to stand soon. Yes, we are. <laughs> oh, did you see that? I kind of did a little pot of the red. I'm a dancer. All right, we're all standing on our own. Oh, where's mine? We're all standing on our own dot, so that we're socially distanced, and we are gonna all go up to the start line, and then start the race in like any minute now. Okay, I just hit a mile and a half. I'm going a little too fast. So I need to slow down because my coach Ryan, Ryan Walker told me, slow down if you're ahead of your pace. So I am going to try to slow down a bit, get through the first three miles, 
see how I'm doing. <sighs> it is very hilly. Also, lots of ups and downs, and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. Okay. Doing great. Quarter of the way there. All right, I'm at almost 5.25 miles. It got really hard from <clears throat> three to five. That's why I didn't film anything. Cause it's like a whole section of uphill. My knees are really hurting. I feel like I'm gonna start walking soon um, or take a little walk break soon. I don't wanna mess up my pace though or like my groove. So I'm gonna try to keep running as far as I can hopefully to six miles, and then take a walk break. Ooh, it's getting really tough. Really, really, really tough. Okay, but I'm okay. I'm okay, I can do this. I can do this. Good job, bud. Keep going, all right? Don't forget to recycle. Okay, I'm at almost 7.25 miles. I've never in my life run this far without stopping to walk. So, this is already an accomplishment, but I feel like death, everything, like my legs are feeling so heavy right now. And I'm approaching the hilly section. Ooh, see, I can barely talk. So I should probably put this way, but I'm more than halfway, which somehow doesn't make me feel better. I'm struggling mentally. It's going downhill, I can feel it. So I, I'll probably call my dad and just talk to him for a sec. And then just try to push through to eight miles. And then maybe take my first walk break. One more lap, bud. Really hard. One more lap, all right? One more. That's all you need is one more, all right? Okay, I'm walking. I'm gonna take a full minute of walking. I'm at 10, almost 10 and a half miles. I feel horrible. My whole body is just hurting, but I only have less than three miles, so. I gotta just push through somehow. But yeah, this is really, really hard <clears throat> on my body and, and mentally. I know there are some hills coming up. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna breathe for another, I'll do another 30 seconds. I deserve it. And then I gotta just kick it into high gear, I guess. Almost there, almost there. Whew. Okay. Whew. See you at the finish line. After I crossed the finish line, I could barely stand up. So I had to literally crouch down on the ground and just stay there. And then I needed help walking over to go get my medal because I was so tired. A half marathon is not a joke. That was tough. I finished. Um, I kept my pace the whole time. My thighs hurt so much and like my butt I am in a lot of pain but I got my medal there we go got my
my t-shirt. Changed out of my sweaty clothes because it's cold out and you gotta, you know, switch out of those fast. Um, overall, I feel like I did really well, but that was really painful. That was one of the most painful things I've ever done. But I think we're gonna go get some food right now and relax and then head back to Philly. So, did it. So there you have it, I finished the race. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, here's my medal, I did it, I earned it, and I'll see you guys for the next one. this bag since like seven in the morning. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh people ringing their bells. Mm. 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 Oh.